In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of truth, who art everywhere and fill us all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. <clears throat> Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. Eternal Father, since thou hast given me for my inheritance the adorable face of thy divine Son, I offer that face to thee and I beg thee, in exchange for this coin of infinite value, to forget the ingratitude of those souls who are consecrated to thee, and to pardon all poor sinners. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. O cosmic birther of all radiance and vibration, soften the ground of our being and carve out a space within us where your presence can abide. Fill us with your creativity so that we may be empowered to bear the fruit of your mission. Let each of our actions bear fruit in accordance with our truest desire that you set in our hearts. Endow us with the wisdom to produce and share what each being needs to grow and flourish. Untie the tangled threads of destiny that bind us as we release others from the entanglements of past mistakes. Do not let us be seduced by that which will divert us from our true purpose, but illuminate the opportunities of the present moment for you are the ground the fruitful vision the birth the power and fulfillment as all is gathered and made whole once again glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit i, <clears throat> I believe in one god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible and in one lord jesus christ the son of god the only begotten begotten of the father before all worlds Light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered, and was buried. The third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in one Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church i acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins i look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come now and ever and to ages of ages amen saints feasts and readings for october the 5th 2023 saints and feasts charitina the martyr methodia the righteous of kimolos Eudokimos, the unknown of Mount Athos, Peter, Alexis, Jonah, Hermogenes, and Tikhon, Metropolitans of Moscow. Epistle reading, Ephesians 5, 33, 6, 1 through 9. Brethren, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may be well with you and that you may live long on the earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, be obedient to those who are your earthly masters with fear and trembling in the singleness of heart as to Christ not in the way of eye service as men pleasers, but as servants of Christ 
doing the will of God from the heart, rendering service with good as goodwill as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same again from the Lord, whether he is slave or free. Masters, do the same to them and forbear threatening, knowing that he who is both their master and yours in heaven and that there is no partiality with him. Gospel reading Luke 17, 7, 17 through 30. At that time, the report concerning Jesus spread through the whole country of Judea and all the surrounding country. The disciples of John told him of all these things. And John, calling to him two of his disciples, sent them to the Lord, saying, Are you he who is is to come, or shall we look for another? And when the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you, saying, Are you he who is to come, or shall we look for another? In that hour he cured many of diseases and plagues and evil spirits, and on many that were blind he bestowed sight. And he answered them, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, the poor have good news preached to them. And blessed is he who takes no offense at me. When the messengers of John had gone, he began to speak to the crowds concerning John. What did you go out in the wilderness to behold? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? A man clothed in soft clothing? Behold, those who are gorgeously appareled and live in luxury are in king's courts. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is he of whom it is written. Behold, I have sent my messenger before your face. Who shall prepare your way before you? I tell you, among those who Born of women, none is greater than John, yet he who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. When they heard all when they heard this, all the people and the tax collectors justified God, having been baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected the purpose of God for themselves, not having been baptized by him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen.